everyone. I hope everyone is doing great today. Today's lesson is going to be an awesome lesson. I've got a great one in store for you today. But first, before we get started, let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings you've provided for us every day. Thank you that we can learn more about you in the word of God. In your name I pray. Amen. So today's lesson is, um, is about how others can help us in our lives, how others can help us understand more about the word, the word of God, and um, how others can just motivate us in life. Um, the lowest part in, and to help us in our lowest parts in our life. Um, and the leaders that we look up to that we can they can help us. Um, the, there are two two great friends I've got that um, I want to show you and talk more about. They they motivate me, they talk about God and they just get me closer to God. Um, yeah, so the first name um, I come up with is Zach Kindle. Now with Zach Kindle, um, he is such a great inspiration. He just, he just, I look up to him like a brother. I look up to him like a, a man of God that can help me in situations. Um, and he's such a motivation. He dedicates, he's a music uh, artist and he dedicates all his music and his life to God. Every day we have a life, we watch his lives and what he does is he just, motivates us and he talks to us about um, how God has you know brought us to him and he how he helps us know more about God and God's word now um, with the second person um, friends that I'm friends with his name is Donovan so I'm gonna show you a little video about what his inspiration is um, towards me um, here it goes. I brought this for work. It's very right. valuable. You feel unappreciated. Okay. And it could be because of what somebody said or somebody, what somebody didn't say. It could be because of your environment. It could be because of what you're telling yourself. You are so valuable. Listen to me. Let, let this sink in. No one I in this whole entire planet is work. like you. No one in this whole I world. This whole know. world. The whole world is like you. Listen to me. Just because someone does not see your worth, doesn't mean you're worthless. Just because someone doesn't see you for what you are, does not mean you are any less than what you are. The people that don't see your worth, that don't see your value, you just gotta pull the scissors out. Cover your ears, pull the scissors out. You don't gotta listen to them, just cut them off. Like, I don't care who they are to you. If they don't see you for who you are and what you bring to the table, they obviously don't deserve to be in your life. You can't have expectations for how you should be treated. That's when you begin to understand how valuable you are. You don't gotta put up with everybody. You don't gotta put up with everything. Yes, so that is one of the motivations that he's given us. Um, he's such a, he's an incredible person and he loves God just as much as we do. So I'm just going to read a little bit about um, our lesson today. It's, um, we, we're talking about Samuel and um, so here it goes. One of the most popular TV shows on the 80s and 90s was a show called America's One Most Wanted. The show was created by a man named John Walsh, whose young son was kidnapped and murdered back in 1981. Walsh created the TV show as a way to help police across the country to solve cases and track down fugitives from the law. The program used dramatizations of the crime stories and actual photos of subjects ending each segment with a plea. If you have if you have any information about the whereabouts of this person, please call the number on the screen. John Walsh used America's Most Wanted to help police get leads on subject suspects wanted for crimes across the country. Leads are clues, tips and bits of information that a detective might use to solve a case. Every, every police department in the country and the FBI have tip lines, toll-free toll phone numbers people can use to call in information about a crime or criminal. Leads often provide the missing clues detectives need to crack cases 
In fact, in 25 years, the America's Most Wanted was on air and leads generated by viewers helped out to put over 1,000 criminals behind bars. When a tipster calls in with the lead, you better believe detectives are listening. As a Bible detective, this is also what the lesson is about. Bible detective, God wants us to follow a different kind of lead. God has given us leaders such as Charlie, such as Laura, and such as Simple, and all those that you look up to, up to such as your parents. They um, help us to learn what the Bible says and learn how, how to study it for ourselves. God has placed special people in our lives. Those special people in my life are my parents, my brothers, my, my family, and these two friends that I spoke about, Zach and Donovan. Um, they um, are the people in my life and in mine who have walked the same path you are now walking as kids. As we seek their advice and follow their lead, they can help us to understand the Bible and grow us our, our faith. One of the greatest heroes of the Bible was a man named Samuel. Now when he was still a child, Samuel was de dedicated to the Lord. He moved into the temple to learn how to study the Bible with a priest named Eli. It was Eli who, um, who not only gave Samuel his foundational knowledge of the scripture, but helped Samuel to recognize the voice of God. Samuel was afraid um, to tell Eli the vision he had, which I'm going to read about in 1 Samuel 3, verse 1 to 10. Samuel 3 verse 1, 1 Samuel 3 verse 1 to 10. The Lord calls Samuel. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days the word of the Lord was rare. There were no, not many visions. One night Eli, who, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his unusual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, who you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and laid down. Again the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel a third time, and Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down. If he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. We learned that um, in this Bible verse, we learned that Samuel didn't know who was calling him. Um, Every time he heard his name spoken, he went and woke Eli. Eli finally re realized that it was God. It was God that was um, speaking. It was the word of God that was speaking to um, Samuel. So e Eli directed Samuel to answer God and setting him on his own path of faith. Thanks in part of the leadership of Eli, Samuel would ultimately become the leader of Israel. He would anoint the first two kings of Israel, Saul and David, and he would become great spiritual leaders to men. God wants us to follow the lead of the leaders he has placed in our lives. From parents to pastors and everyone in between. Those I spoke about like friends that help you grow closer to God. Um, he has blessed us with people who can help us study the Bible and listen for God's voice, just like Samuel. God has made all of us to have a relationship with Him. Through God's Son, Jesus Christ, we can, have, we can pray directly to God. 
God wants us each to have that personal relationship to him every single day. So why did God give us human leaders? Because God knows that we can be big, they can be a big help to us. Um, many of them face the same struggles that we face today. God knows that these people can help us grow in our faith. The simple fact is so many of us of you are here to tell tells me God has blessed all of you with at least one person who can lead you in your faith. All of you are here because someone, whether it was your parents, your grandparents, whomever brought you to um, listen to the word of God, someone led you here so that, that all of you, all of us adult leaders can lead you even closer to Jesus. We are all here every, every week. We are at the church and we are here every week, phone call away um, to to serve God by serving you. So when we follow the leaders God has given us, we will learn to study the Bible well enough to do it on our own. We will learn to recognize God's voice for ourselves. Our leaders can prepare us for all life's challenges. They can help set us on our path so when the time comes and we are on our own, we can keep following after God. One day it will be our turn to lead so um, you'll be in Eli's position, encouraging someone else to listen to the vo God's voice. So let's thank God for them every day. Let's be a good followers so that when God speaks to us, we will know to say, speak Lord, I am listening. Um, there is a few questions or to, just a little multiple choice questions that you can maybe do at home um to do with the bible verse that i just read so a boy named a moses b samuel or c david lived in the temple one night a god b eli or c noah called samuel by name samuel thought it was his mentor a. Eli, B. Moses, or C. Elijah calling him. A. Eli, B. Moses, or C. Elijah told Samuel that it was God calling him. And if we listen, we can learn about God from A. Parents, B. Pastors, or C. Both, A and B. So, here is a memory verse that I'm going to read. It's from Psalm 119, verse 15 to 16. I spend time, I spend time thinking about the rules. I consider you, consider how you want me to live. I take, de take delight in your orders and I won't fail to obey you and your word thank you but today is as follows dear god thank you for everyone who helps us learn about you in jesus name i pray amen